So, thank you for having us out here. I know, Lisa, it was a big point for you to bring us here to Julian, to this beautiful place. So tell us about this area. Well, uh, Orchard Hill is in its 25th year. This is a beautiful community, and what makes it beautiful are the people that live here. This was built to be an upscale inn, and in total we have 22 rooms. It kind of surprises me. People will come in and they'll say, oh, you have a Christmas tree up. Anyway, this is a wonderful Baldwin. It too is over 100 years old. We had a, uh, a choice. We could either get a full liquor license or we could buy this piano. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. Right. So tell us about this wonderful sitting area. I was an uh, interior designer for uh, 40 years. And these lights, believe it or not, hung in my house and they look quite appropriate. Wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> This is a local tradesman who built our fireplace. Uh, we have a nice collection of plin art uh, that's from local artists. And what is that? plin art is uh, paintings that are painted in the environment of the environment. Oh, okay. oh, okay. Here's the bar that's not a full service bar, but is beer and wine, because we chose the piano, remember? <laughs> <laughs> Let me take you into the dining room. We're getting ready for a dinner tonight for a group of people who all have vintage Bentleys. We serve a four-course dinner. Uh, last night they were at Jeremy's. Thank you again for having us out. Lisa, are you ready for the winery now? I can't wait. Alrighty. Yeah. You guys look like you're thirsty here. Well, yeah. he's got his glass, yeah. his empty glass for way You too probably long. want to try some of this fabulous Julian, <laughs> Julian sparkling this apple wade made oh, from wow. made yeah. from our estate grown yeah, apples here in Julian. Nice. All right, Ty, here you go. Lisa, Lisa. And talk about this so as this, you're pouring it. Yeah, what do we got of here? This is a sparkling apple wine. We're the only ones, oh, really? I, only ones I know of that are doing that. I'm sure there's other people with sparkling apple wines. So this contains 18 different kinds of apples that grow on this property here. And obviously people come up to Julian for apple pie, but they can also come up here and try some delicious sparkling apple wine. So I hope you guys like it. Yeah. yeah. A toast, a toast. We also make grape wine, obviously. Um, we have Pinot Noir and Pinot Gris that grow on the property. So we'll taste some of that as we go along here. Now you guys need to try the, uh, the Sauvignon Blanc. Best to show double gold winning Sauvignon Blanc. We only made about 80 cases, so it's just a little bit of this left, unfortunately. We do, we do a lot of our wines in barrels. Uh, this one is done in a stainless steel tank, refrigerated tank. It never gets any oak, so it's nice and crisp. This view, you cannot you beat can't this. the view, no. Now talk a little bit about the wine tasting. How can people come out here and what can they expect? We've got uh, three white wines and six reds right now, and in addition to the apple wine. So we've got a, a lot of other wines besides just the apple wine. Most people, honestly, because this place is just so beautiful, they buy a bottle or they get a glass of wine and they sit out on the patio and just enjoy the views and enjoy the day. I want to thank you once again for coming out to my gorgeous Vulcan Mountain. Um, thank you, the hearts. Appreciate all that you guys do and your love wine and the hedgecocks for their gorgeous apple farm and pie and i want to give a shout out to candied apple for your yummy breads and julian pie company and all the delicious tastes in, in town thank you so much love julian Cheers.